So on this video, we're going to go over a few things uh, that have uh, wore out over the years. Uh, we're on our fourth season with this Geo Pro, and uh, our Geo Pro was actually built pre-COVID, so it was done pretty good. There's not a lot of quality issues. It just this is wear and tear over the years. Like I say, over COVID, I think there were some issues with some of the uh, quality issues with the actual factory, but we were not having any of those problems. But just going to go over a couple of things that we have that's showing a little wear. Our, our little hard shell camper is showing its age a little bit, but it's still do, going strong. So we'll get to those now. So one of the things we noticed uh, with the dinette set, you have these little Velcro strips that run. They actually run along the back of your, your seats. Got the seat down now, but we run back here and they screw into here. So we've noticed that this one here, we've got one of them coming loose and there's really not a whole lot holding these in place. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is just gonna go over a little further over and we're gonna thread it in. Uh, really don't know of a better way to do this other than maybe you can throw a little glue in there, but uh, that's just something that has pulled loose over time. Like I say, the forum we, we have, that's the only one we're having issue with so far. But uh, just something to take a look out for. Another thing with the trim issue, and it may have something to do, we put a different aftermarket light here. But after our long trip we went out west, we noticed that this paneling here came loose right here. And it started to sag down. You can see it below the trim. I think it was supposed to go under here, but it gradually came loose just over time. So we had to actually put a little nail in here. And uh, I guess you put a little screw to hold that in place. But <clears throat> over time, it just, I guess it's just the vibrations caused that to come loose. And on the inside, we've had, a, I've noticed this last trip we just took. If you look at this trim piece that goes across the top here, it started to come loose. And you see, I can push it up and get it to seal back. But once we get on the road again, it seems like it wants to come off there. I don't know how that's attached, but what we'll probably have to do in the future is try to get a little bit of clear Gorilla Glue or something underneath that to hold that strip. Like I say, most of them are in pretty good shape. Looks like maybe I'll get a little bit of a gap right there on that side. I've seen people have problems with these as well. So far, it's just that one strip for us. So as I'm talking to you about the uh, things that have broke down over the years, uh, in some cases I fix these problems, and in some cases I, uh, I'm in the process of fixing them. So uh, I'll leave in the uh, video description, I'll leave links for stuff that I'm going to replace or maybe I did already replace. So another problem we just had recently is this light on the back of the on the actually on the front here it well it, it's working today that's amazing but anyway it's it's intermittent and i don't know if it just needs to be cleaned out maybe the contacts are corroded a little bit but uh we we tried using it this last trip and it didn't work at all but uh it's actually working again so in some cases i think we can clean the contacts in here and I've actually seen a few people that go ahead and replace they. They get kind of corroded after a while. So, just like most other people, these uh, stabilizer jacks, they get rusted after a while. And they're still functional. I'll keep them greased up good. I'm not sure if I'm going to change that this year or next year. I've got several different ones I've marked on Amazon. Some of them are really hefty duty. I think they're like 4,000 pounds. These are, I think, 3,000, the ones that I, I'm probably going to replace. Them. These are even less or so so it just depends on what, how, how beefy you want these to change out but uh, eventually you're gonna have to change those jacks out this one here is a little bit better shape but they start to rust after a while and uh especially if you leave it outdoors all year round like i do so especially if you keep your camper outdoors year round like i do eventually like say i'm at that four fourth season we're heading into right now and this is a 20 19 and here it is 2024 so uh what happens especially on mine where the sun hits it the most which is this is the southwest corner and that's where that sun bakes this the stripping here and, and this has started to crack 
not too worried about it right now because it's not allowing water in it. There's actually screws in there, so you don't want water to start getting in there. And I, there's a kit for this as far as you take this loose, you buy the new end caps, you buy the new strip that goes in here and install it in there. So that's something that uh, I'll have to do eventually. Right now, it's just this far corner. There's a little bit of crackage over here on the far side here. Now, look out front, it's not too bad. I'll show you that one out front. Out front, yeah, you'll see here, there's a little bit of cracking on this one here. So I'm going to have to probably do this either by the end of the season this year, definitely by the beginning of the season next year. The water won't get in there. And these, these trim pieces, they run down, the, down this as well. And these are in pretty good shape, the front, top and the bottom. But again, that's covering screws, and you don't want that to allow water in there on this far side. It's in not too bad a shape. And that goes up to the top there. It has these two little caps that hold it in place. You'll have to buy the, uh, the sealant to put on each end too as well. Now, another thing I noticed is these screws that hold this bottom panel on, you have to check these. They actually work their way out. I have no idea how that happens. But like I had to go and tighten a few of these and I noticed one back here at the back which I've already put it back together now this one actually had come out almost a half inch and so I had to just basically take a screwdriver and thread it back in obviously if you if it does strip out you'd have to seal that hole and then maybe move it over a little bit and catch new material but uh didn't have to do that but you want to basically check to make sure those are not working their way out over time okay on this one here this could have happened any year but this year just seemed like it and we didn't have a harsh winter but it's still evidently there's an issue here and I, I have this flush tank and every year I winterize everything I put I went ahead and put antifreeze and everything okay I always assumed that that it would just feed into the black tank and just gravity feed into that but let me show you what the problem was like I say when you flush with this it basically goes down inside goes down underneath stays inside in the back of your bathroom runs all the way around the back side and goes up under here when you look up underneath to here you'll see there's that line and it comes down and it goes in the back of your actually on the outside to that little elbow that goes into your uh, black tank the problem is is it has just enough dip in this that water collects in there and what mine looks like what mine has done is split down here so when I tried to blast it after this last you know I tried to do my clean my black tank and I wasn't getting any pressure. I wasn't hearing it blast. And all of a sudden, I saw water coming out of the bottom of the, the, the uh, RV. And so there's a split in that line. So what I'm going to have to do is cut this line here and go over here and put a new piece in that. That. And how to prevent that in the future is I'll probably put a a funnel and actually funnel a little bit of antifreeze in there every year. And that's the only way I know to prevent that because like I say you get that little bit of water trapped in there and then that's It'll freeze and expand and I guess it did it for the first two seasons And then this year it was enough water in there to actually split out so uh, another thing that we noticed happened is the hot and cold little these little plastic pieces that go into the hot and cold and tell you which side is which they uh this one here just popped out but on this one you'll notice it actually broke some of the tabs off so i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with that you see they don't really fit in here and tell you which one's the hot and the cold so i'm not sure if i'm going to glue those in they've never really marked it really well you can't really see the h and the c that well so I'm not sure. I'm going to fix something where it goes in here and marks these better. And maybe I'll use these caps. Maybe I'll put something blue on one and red underneath the other one. And some kind of piece of plastic that'll tell you what color. Because I've always had trouble identifying them anyway. But these just popped out. It's just a decorative thing pretty much.
So while we're in here in the bathroom, I'm going to show you something else. So far, I haven't had this problem, but I actually watched a video from uh, Wines, Pines, and Canines in this last... And there's their, their unit, I believe, is about a year, maybe two years older than mine. Uh, I'm not, I know it's at least a year older than mine. And they had trouble with this. There's a plexiglass piece in here. And it's just glued around the edges perimeter here. And I think that eventually pops loose. And he's got a nice video. If, you, if you've got that issue where this thing is popping up, it's pushing up and it's actually not sealed anymore. And he has a good video on how to fix that. And uh, so far, I'm just keeping an eye on that. But so far, I haven't had an issue. Another thing I might have to replace, I don't know, hopefully it'll last a couple more years, but this cover that goes over your LP tanks. I was just pulling this off to check my and change out my gas tank, and I was not careful about how I set it on the ground, and you see it split this plastic out. So again, it's gradually getting bigger, so eventually it's going to get to the point where it's not useful anymore. And I think you can order these from Camco or in a few other places. But uh, if that's important, I kind of like to keep mine covered. But um, I think they even have like different canvas covers that go over these. So again, that's something you should be a little careful because they get a little brittle when they get older. My holes have had ripped out a while back. I've got bungees holding these in place. I had to drill a hole because those actual little tabs had already broke off as well. But uh, just another one of those things you got to keep an eye out for. Okay, looking at the top of my camper like i say you, there's some things you have to look for up there as far as some resealing of, of the roof up there if you've got any little voids i've got a video about that so i won't get into that very much but i last season beginning of the season i actually went out there and patched up a few spots that looked a little suspicious but that's something you want to look at definitely in a, at your fourth season and maybe even check that every year but in my case i had to do it in my beginning of my third season and uh, so far it's holding up pretty good. I'll go check it out one more time this year. All in all, this camper's been really good to us. Like I said, we probably have about between 3,500 and 4,000 miles on this thing. Uh, we've had one large trip and several, quite a few little small trips. But uh, some people will put more mileage on us. We're not really hard on this as far as going off-road. They call this an off-road capability, but honestly, I don't think you want to be banging around with this thing too much. The more you bang it around, the more you're tearing stuff up on the inside. But uh, it's just wear and tear after time. You just have that happen. And we could store this in an indoor facility. We would definitely give it another couple of years before these things would happen. Being outside year-round with no cover uh is something that actually gets makes it a little worse in our case we have a lot of humidity so covers are not really a good way to go for me because i'm worried about that cover mildew and then getting wet underneath the covers so that's really not an option i want to deal with but everybody has their own way of doing things and that's the way i do deal with mine so so that's just uh letting you know been a good camper and like i say just some things you have to do in time and uh i hope this helped y'all out and identifying stuff that might come down in the future with your unit and uh and that's about all i have for this uh video and leave me in the comments if you found other things that's showed up in the fourth and fifth year of your camping in a geo pro so we'll see you again